We are getting a closer look at the claims of harassment made against City Council Rep Joe Molinar. Thanks for joining us. I'm Natasia Paloma. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us in the studio tonight with a look at the investigation report. Shelby. Well, Natasia, the complaint was made by a city employee who is not named, and the report says that the evidence supports that Representative Molinar's conduct was inappropriate. Here you can see in this investigation report, which says a female city employee said Representative Molinar first made her uncomfortable in April 2021 when he ended a phone conversation with her by saying, OK, babe. Then she says at a city Thanksgiving luncheon in 2022, Molinar asked her to dance. And after she said no, he continued to ask. After he reportedly told her she owed him a dance and that he was going to direct the city manager to make her dance with him. Now, the report says that Molinar denied saying anything about having the city City manager make her dance with him and he also denied ever calling the woman babe. The claims of harassment brought up at a city council meeting on February 28th, the same meeting where city council voted to terminate city manager Tommy Gonzalez's contract, an item that was placed on the agenda by Representative Molinar. Now, council at that same meeting voted to have Mayor Oscar Lisa write a letter of warning to Molinar due to the complaint. And for the mayor to issue a letter of admonition against Representative Molinar as a result of a complaint of harassment and request that the letter include harassment, discrimination training and code of conduct training. In addition, any further violation could lead to removal from his committee assignments and leadership roles on this council. Here you can see that warning letter from Mayor Oscar Leeser to Molinar that says he should have known that his conduct made the employee uncomfortable and that, quote, as a member of city council, you hold a position of authority. Now, the report says Molinar was asked if he recalled any of the material from his harassment and discrimination training or the city's policies, and he said he didn't recall anything specifically. Now, Molinar is required to have additional harassment and discrimination training within 90 days. Natasia, back to you.